The most shocking fact about achalasia is that it's a disease where the esophagus completely forgets how to swallow. So swallowing is a complex, my beloved, perfectly coordinated neuromuscular event. So when you swallow, the body of the esophagus uh, is supposed to perform a rhythmic, wave-like, you know, contraction, peristalsis. So to push food down while the lower esophageal sphincter, less, L-E-S, so when less a muscular ring of the bottom is, suppo is supposed to relax, to let the food pass directly into the stomach. In achalasia, the, this entire program is corrupted due to the destruction of inhibitor nerve cells uh, in the esophageal wall. Two things go catastrophically long. So sphincter forgets how to relax. It remains in a state of constant spastic contraction acting like, a, you know, a locked door between the esophagus and the stomach. So, actually, the esophagus forgets how to push. The, the coordinated peristaltic waves disappear and are replaced by weak, chaotic, or non-existent contractions. The result is, is a complete functional breakdown. The esophagus becomes a flaccid, useless bag that cannot push foot down and the the exit is locked shut food liquid and saliva accumulate in the esophagus causing it to dilate massively over time sometimes sometimes holding liters of petrifying petrifying material so it's a neurological amnesia it's a disease of neurological forgetting the muscles are there but the nerves that tell them what to do have died and the complex program for swallowing is lost. So X-ray pattern is unforgettable. The, the classic finding on a barium swallow X-ray is one of the most memorable images in a gastroenterology. A massively dilated, full-filled esophagus that tapers down to a narrow beak-like point at the bottom. This is called the bird's beak sign. So the cure is to break the muscle. Since the sphincter cannot relax, the treatment is to mechanically disrupt or destroy it. So this can be done by pneumatic dilation, forcefully stretching it open with a balloon, heller myotomy, surgically cutting the muscle fibers of the sphincter, and a poem, peroral endoscopy myotomy. Poem, P-O-E-M. <laughs> yes, poem. Peroral endoscopic myotomy, a modern, minimally invasive techniques where an endoscopist tunnels under the esophageal lining to cut the muscle from the inside. So you have to break the locked door to get food through. Get it? Great.